when I started here at the agency in 1997, I, I got involved in the Rosetta mission, which is quite a, a complex mission. And when they showed me design drawings, I never understood how the spacecraft would rotate and move. So I built myself this little Lego model where the special thing is that indeed all the things that move, move the way the real spacecraft can move. So I can rotate the solar arrays in this direction. I can move the, the antenna, which always has to point to the Earth, the way the real antenna can move. I have to be a little bit careful not to break it off because this is built from parts I stole from my kids back home. I have the, the instruments here. This, for example, is the little camera, which now films your camera. So if I want to understand how do I point to a certain object, say, on my comet surface, there's my comet surface, I can rotate this little Lego spacecraft, and then I can check whether, for example, I can still point the antenna to the Earth. And this really helped me visualizing. I took it to meetings, and then if whenever I didn't understand how to move the spacecraft. We had discussions on, on how to move the spacecraft. Then I took out my little Lego model and tried to play with it. And that really helped everybody to understand what's going on. And then I found out that it's quite a nice, interesting thing also to do public outreach with because when I took this to the industrial contractors, they were saying, oh, where can I get this from? And we were discussing things like uh, using this as presence from the company to interested people. Uh, so I think yeah, there's quite some potential. So I tried to, you know, you see the, the, the tanks here in the center, right there. So this contains the fuel that we need. This little instrument here is a plasma instrument. When you have a plasma wave coming from the comet, it first hits this sphere, then this sphere, and from the time it takes, I can measure how fast it moves. This is my model of the little lander. So it comes off, and then brrr, it can land on the comet. So there's a lot of functionality in this little thing if you just build it right, and I had a lot of fun. And then a colleague came and said, I need Venus Express, so he took this and made the solar arrays match the lengths of the Venus Express solar arrays. There you have a fixed antenna, so you actually took this off and fixed mounted it on the spacecraft and then you had Venus Express. I have another model too, you want to see that too? It's my little Chandrayaan model. You can see Chandrayaan looks very different. It has a much smaller antenna. Chandrayaan is an Indian mission that orbits the moon, but Europe has some instruments on it. So this has a very little antenna, which also moves again like the real thing. It has only one, oops, I broke it off. It has only one solar array, which folds out like this. Again here, I received paper information on how this spacecraft would orbit the moon. And there is a flip in the middle where they turn everything around. I just had no clue what they were doing. So I built this model and then I took the drawings and I tried to follow with my Lego model what they're doing. And now I understand it. So it's very helpful for the scientist, for the engineer, plus it's a lot of fun. I'm now involved in a mission which lands on an asteroid. And believe me, uh, one of the next weekends when I have some time, I'm going to build a model of this asteroid mission that we're now designing.